this. My beloved Milwaukee chainsaw. Yep, I remember. Well, we got some wood. We can try this thing out. Yep, we are going to see how it does on some of this half-dead, half-alive tree that got cut down that we get to take home. There's going to be people that no matter what will always hate electric anything. <laughs> what? Right, like tools especially. Yeah, and this is the biggest battery that they make. It's the only ba battery that I brought. I did not bring a charger. So we'll see what we can accomplish today. I don't see any other batteries or chargers. Nothing in there. And this tunnel cover. I love it. Yeah, so let's have a little update on the tunnel cover. Um, and there's really nothing to say because it's been awesome. Has it leaked? No. If it does leak, it's minimal. I mean, extremely minimal. Yeah. When I was working the outage and he was going grocery shopping and it was raining a lot, he put the groceries back here and he said everything would always stay dry. So it's been great. It really has. Uh, these these clamps, they've stayed tight. They haven't loosened up. Some people said after the fact that, oh, you should lock tight them. And I thought, I really should have. Damn, missed opportunity. But they have not loosened up. Yeah. So that's good. So here, I'll start small and then just work up to the bigger stuff. Dave, you're missing out. Mike's having fun with his uh, chainsaw without you. You know how much faster this would go with two saws? Oh, yeah. I got to be out here extra long. Oh, thanks a lot, Dave. As Mike has been cutting, I've been starting to stack all the wood in the bed of the truck. But let's get an update on how that saw is doing battery wise. After, 83 degrees. Yeah, currently. And I told Mike it's gonna be hot, so what does he do? Wear all dark colors. <laughs> well, the battery, let's see if you can even see it in the daylight, I don't know. It's down one bar. I'm press it again. Yeah, oh, there we go. You can see that now. Yeah, one bar down. Cut quite a bit. Yeah, it's going through it really easily. We're into a little bit bigger log, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's. It's starting to, I don't want to say put a strain on the saw, but it's got to start working now because that other stuff is so small. So easy. Not bad. No. Plus it's a fresh downed tree. So it's very alive and wet and heavy. Still growing. Yeah. Ever gonna call it a day. Yeah, it's pretty hot out and it was successful. Yeah, we left stuff that's dead, like really dead. Yeah, so a lot of this is, you can see, you know, it's quite dead, so we don't want that. Part of the battery. We got two out of four bars, let's see. 50% yep. battery. This saw does everything I need it to do. Yeah, it did really well. You don't have to worry about mixing fuel and gas or whatever. And Now, it's not going to replace a gas saw. Right. That it won't do. But I cut wood one or two times a year. Same reason why I got an electric log splitter. Right. Because I don't do this for a living. I don't, we don't heat with wood. So there's no point in us really getting anything that's bigger, gas powered, if we're not going to utilize it in the fashion that it should be used. I probably won't cut wood again till maybe the fall. We are home, got all the wood. It's a pretty decent haul for what it, what it was. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of stuff that was just too dead to do anything with, but three. 
yeah, we're not gonna complain. And we've got the uh, log splitter all set up, ready to accept some logs to split. Yep. You got your wood splitting beer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it says not to do this in the instructions, but you know, <laughs> I live life dangerously. We just had burgers for dinner, so the grill is still out. Mm -hmm. So you've never done this before. No, I was working uh, the outage. So I was sleeping every time you use this. I think so. I only used it once. Well, I was sleeping. <laughs> right. Okay, so step one, yeah, pick up the log, put it on the log splitter. Okay. Pick up the log. Put it on the log splitter. All right, so what I usually do is I slide up against oh. this. Like there that. we go, yep. Now it's a two-handed operation. Yeah, you use your right hand to push the button down and your left hand over yes. here is the lever. Yep. Yes. Yep. So push the button down and do the lever. Look at that. Easy peasy. All right. So now yeah, just dislodge it and then turn it on its other side. Yeah. This is very fresh. No, no. Turn it the other way. Which? Yeah, like that. Like this? It's already split that direction, so you gonna split the other direction. Oh, well, it didn't go all the way through. Yeah, it will, though. There you go. Yeah, that wood is very, very green. It's very stringy. Yeah, it's very stringy. I usually will just kind of kick that. Well, I'm not wearing kick shoes. Well, so. I was going to kick it for you, but oh, that's okay. right. So these are okay, right? Yep, so just toss those aside. You can split that one. Anybody recognize that bark? Let us know what kind of wood that is. If it smells like pin oak, I'm not going to burn it. Sorry. Like... <laughs> pin oak sucks. Sometimes you cut these just a little too long. I mean, this is like two inches too right. long. Right, it's so close. That's a lot better. Oh yeah, fits great. Wood pile still growing. Yeah. That's pretty decent. Getting into some pine now, it's super light. Yeah, it's very light. I kind of want to see if it's gonna go pop like pine does. I always liked burning pine in the past because it was so sappy it would just take off. It was a really good fire starter yeah, log. Yeah, it's a great fire starter. You does smell good. <laughs> it's what's so it's easy. Go pop. Yeah. So we got some sticks and then the big pile. Not bad for being free. We just had to cut it and split it. Yeah, it'll be good in like a year because <laughs> it is wet. But hey, I'll take it. So we got electric chainsaw, electric log splitter. It's your first experience with the log splitter. What do you think? I liked it. I mean, it was really easy to use. And obviously, you know, I could load everything up. It was right there. Um, I know some people in those videos before we bought it, Mike was looking at it and they put it on a table, but that that's great for operating, but then you also have to lift the wood that much higher. So I kind of like it down on the ground like this. Yeah, I liked it low too. I mean, when I did that video, I talked about how much I liked it. Just like the saw though, it's not going to replace like a $2,000 yeah. log splitter. We're not opening up Wagner wood you know <laughs> sales or anything with this operation that we currently have so but for us for camping for traveling for all that kinds of stuff it's perfect yeah so, it gets the jobs done yeah nothing is done until the job is done including cleaning the bed of your truck <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Looks pretty good now. So you got this truck back just before Christmas, really. Yeah. And since then, since Christmas to mid-June, I put 3,600 miles on it. Wow, that's like nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's not much. Um, 
I'm very, very happy that I went with the gas engine. I had diesel. I don't hate diesel, but like I said before, my commute's five miles. Right, and that's just, doesn't matter who you are, that is not good for a diesel, unless you're towing heavily on the weekends, which we're not. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the inside of my hitch receiver, it's pristine because <laughs> I'm not towed with this thing. I really wanted to though. With the ZF 8-speed transmission, which I am absolutely 100% thrilled with, I want to see how it does with the trailer. I'm actually kind of curious as well, who's willing to donate their trailer <laughs> for Mike to, uh, I don't know, do some demonstrations with it. Uh, still, I, I don't think I would have, if I ordered the truck, I don't think I would have specced it any different. Well, that's good to know. Uh, regular cab, power windows, power locks. Uh, it's got the 8.3 inch screen on the yeah. radio. Uh, absolutely love the radio in it. It is very nice. Uh, I like the, the tunnel cover. I like the sliding rear window. I mean, it's just a manual one, but all I got to do is reach behind me. And yeah, it's right behind it. his head. I, I'm glad I went with the Tradesman versus the higher trim levels. Just because I don't really spend a lot of time in this truck. That's true, but what we do, like if we go out on a date night, a lot of times we take his truck because he doesn't put the miles on it like my Jeep gets. Yeah, so we'll get out and drive it a little bit. Yep. It is a really sharp looking truck. A lot of you have agreed that white is definitely the color to go with. And so far, I tend to agree. As far as fuel economy goes, my little commutes five miles back and forth to work, I usually get like 10 to 12 miles per gallon out on the highway which i did actually just do like five hours round trip with this truck and i was up over 16.4 something like that that's according to the dash right which is pretty accurate i don't really care to hand calculate because i didn't buy a prius i bought a truck a <laughs> quarter ton truck it gets what it gets when yeah. it needs gas i put gas in it yeah that's pretty much how it goes so basically you don't have any regrets no it's fun to drive it's quick it is pretty quick Overall, you would recommend this truck to other people? I would. Whether they're towing or not towing, we can't really talk on the towing part, but... I have no comment on the towing capabilities. You think it would probably do all right. I mean, it's got enough power to, to tow things, so... Yeah, and for those that haven't seen the other video, in the bed, I've got, I've got the towing prep. Yeah. With the light connectors and the AC outlet there on the side. Super, super nice. But I don't even own the gooseneck ball that drops in there. I know. It's so weird. I never thought... I've never not had a trailer. I never thought we would be without a trailer of some sort. Even like a little utility trailer. We don't even have one of those anymore. So I think it would be nice to have like a 14K, 24-foot gooseneck trailer. Just to have and occasionally need. Yeah. Right now, I just can't justify it. I think we're both pretty happy with this truck. What do you guys think? Do you think this truck was worth it? Do you think Mike should have got four doors? <laughs> we don't think so. No, but. usually the debate is, well, you should have got a Ford, you should have got a Chevy. I've had Fords, I've had Chevys, I've had Rams. Right now, Ram is just what I own. My next one could very well be another Ford. Yeah, we are not brand loyal. So that is something that you'll learn if you haven't from watching our videos is we've had them all, we've owned them all, We've driven them all. We like them all. It's kind of like campers. Something that really intrigues me, though, is the new F-150 Lightning, the all-electric truck. Yeah, you did. You were talking about that recently. Yeah, I, they've, they've caught my attention. The thing with the electric truck, though, if you are pulling a travel trailer or something, eh, I don't think electric's going to be the way to go. No. I still think gas or diesel is going to be king in that aspect. I agree. But for what I do, it would just be a fun little truck. Agreed. Leave any questions or comments below about this truck. Mike will be happy to answer them. Of course. One of the best things about it is the Jeep and the truck both fit in the garage.